is the recipe for fate churros. Now churros are made from a kind of a doughnutty mixture and they're often found now in Spanish and Mexican style restaurants. They're lovely as a snack and perfect for sharing pudding, especially when you've got friends around. Delicious. Now to make the churros, I've got 200 grams of the fate low protein all purpose mix and I've already weighed that in my mixing bowl. And into that I'm going to weigh 60 grams of block margarine. Now this gets rubbed in. Just cover the margarine with a bit of all-purpose mix and just squeeze it between your fingertips. All the time gathering more. It won't take long, it'll just take about a minute or so. And what you're looking for is really a mixture that looks like fine breadcrumbs. You can actually do it with your hands if you want, once you get to this stage, so it'll be quicker as well. I think that's almost there. Now just to test that I haven't missed any, just shake the bowl and any large pieces will come to the top. And grab those. Okay, yeah, that's, that's done now. Now into there you need two teaspoonfuls of baking powder. Goes in and you, I've weighed 40 grams of light soft brown sugar. Give it a quick stir. Now the next ingredient you need is 100 mils of cold water and I've measured it into a baby's bottle so it's more accurate. And then you need two teaspoonfuls of vanilla, vanilla extract. And then that just gets measured on top of the water. And then just take it and throw it into your bowl and mix quickly. It should be quite a soft and creamy mixture. Just concentrate on getting all the ingredients sort of blended in. I think that's, that'll do, that'll do. And I shall just leave that now on the side for a couple of minutes to rest. Now to cook the churros, you need a deep fryer. And I've got an electric fat fryer here and it's set at 150 degrees. So I'm going to shape them now. And to shape them, you need a large piping bag and you need a large star nozzle. And the star nozzle goes in the bottom. So then take some of the mixture and spoon it into the piping bag. And then just squeeze it down to the bottom of the bag until it starts to come out of the nozzle. Just have a look. Yep, yeah, that's it. And then I'm just going to make sure it's all in one lump in the bag and then just twist, twist the top around my thumb. And then I'm going to go over now to the fryer. So with the piping bag in one hand and a pair of long scissors in the other. Just gently squeeze the piping bag over the fryer and snip the length that you want. And just do probably about in this, this size fryer you'll probably get be able to cook about half a dozen at the same time and they'll just take maybe two to three minutes. What you don't want to do is to overload your pan. That will do for the first ones. And just leave them to cook. You may have to just turn them around to brown them a little bit. 
for leaving them gently to cook. So these are done now, nice and golden brown and crispy. And what you need is just a dish with a little bit of kitchen towel so they drain and then tip them straight out onto there. And then when they've drained, you just need a little bit of caster sugar just to sprinkle on while they're still hot. And then just carry on with the rest of the mixture. Now to serve, I'm going to make a Pro Zero hot chocolate sauce. And I'm just going to weigh one exchange of chocolate buttercream. You could use a chocolate spread if you like. Just weigh one exchange into a little bowl. And then add about four teaspoonfuls of Pro Zero. And then that goes into the microwave just for a couple of seconds to, to soften. It's been in the microwave oven for about 10 seconds. So just give it a gentle stir. Just to mix that, those ingredients up. Lovely. So here they are. We've got a few summer berries. The Pro Zero hot chocolate sauce and the churros. Fate churros with Pro Zero hot chocolate sauce. Why not make Fate quick donuts? Simply make up the recipe for Fate churros and take large spoonfuls of the mixture and shape into balls. You can make chocolate donuts using Vitabite. Just cut it into chunks Take a spoonful of donut mixture, roll it until it's smooth, make a hollow in the middle, place in a chunk of Vitabite and mould the mixture around it. You can also do this with fruit. Banana is especially delicious. Chop the banana into chunks and simply mould the donut mixture around it. To cook, place into deep hot oil about 150 degrees for about 4 or 5 minutes until golden and cooked through. Once cooked, drain on kitchen paper and sprinkle with sugar. For jam filled donuts, place some jam in a piping bag with a small nozzle. Make a hole in the donut with either a sharp knife or a skewer and pipe the jam in the hole. They are lovely served while still warm. Fate Quick Donuts <laughs>